This is Doofy McBetter Sketch, and we are back to Tim Robbins. Older him. Well, this one's mainly got uh, Kevin Costner, and it's also got Susan Sarandon in it. And Kevin Costner is basically the the older uh, baseball player who's been in the minor leagues for quite a while now, and Tim Robbins is the up-and-coming baseball star who's in the minor leagues, set to go into the major leagues eventually, and Susan Sarandon is basically the the whore who sleeps with all of the baseball players, but she makes it look like she's doing something quite different. Oh, I'm helping the the baseball players to play better, so yeah, so that's that's what this movie's about. So, of course, of course, not of course, that's not a word, she sleeps with both Costner and Tim Robbins, and it creates a love triangle, and there you go. That's what this movie's all about. So, it's all about making uh, whores look halfway decent, sort of. It's, uh... It's a hard film to get into. It's uh, not something I'm really that keen on. So I wasn't the hugest fan of it. It's not awful, but it just wasn't my cup of tea. So I can't really recommend it. Arlington Road. Now this one was pretty darn good. Now Tim Robbins, he plays a trickster because he plays Oliver Lang and William Fenimore. And let's see, I think it's Jeff Bridges gets caught up in a whole big web of lies, and there's a whole bunch of trickery and shit that goes down. I don't want to ruin it, but it is... If you're into those movies with a whole bunch of twists and turns, Arlington Road is a twisty and windy road. It's very... Very interesting. I watched it with the parents. They thought it was real good. I thought it was real good. It's, uh, it's a good movie all around. It's awesome. Is it the greatest movie ever? Well, I can't say that, but it is up there. Pretty good. High Fidelity. Now, this one's got Ch John Cusack. Tim Robbins plays a cameo role. And John Cusack is basically this guy who's trying to figure out women. He runs a record store, which is why it's called High Fidelity. And he's trying to, like, figure out why women don't work out for him. And he goes around to some of his ex-girlfriends and says, what went, what went wrong and that sort of thing. So he's trying to figure out all that shit. And, you know, it, it's kind of a little bit of a bore. It, he does break the fourth wall, or third wall, or whatever wall it's called. And he talks directly into the camera a lot. So, eh, if you're into that sort of stuff, this might be what you want. But, uh, I kind of had a little bit of a hard time getting through it. It wasn't the best source material. I wasn't really into the subject. So, but it, you could, you might think it's good, whoever you is, the watcher of this video, uh, Jungle Fever, let's move on to that one, uh, Tim Robbins, I don't think he plays a huge role in that one either, he's got a lot of cameo roles, he does play movies where he's the leading guy, but not a lot of them actually make it on this list, even Top Gun, he was like a secondary actor on that one. Uh, yeah, Jungle Fever, it's mainly Wesley Snipes' movie, and it's like an interracial thing that's happening. It was in that time where interracial relationships were kind of, uh, what do we think of them, and all that sort of stuff. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Wesley Snipes cheats on his, uh, black wife with a white woman, so of course that's gonna piss off a lot of people there. Uh, in his community, and there's just a whole bunch of drama in this one, so it's a real dramatic racial film, a lot of, lot of stuff going on, 
I think I've said a lot of shit goes down a lot since I've been making these videos, so I'm going to try as hard as I can to think of another creative word to say that same phrase so it doesn't get monotonous. So, Jungle Fever, not, in, not a movie I'm that interested in, but I got through it. IQ. Yeah, well. Uh, Tim Robbins does pl I forgot his name. I had to look back up. Uh, well, that shows how much I know about the guy. Anyway, Tim Robbins is the main star of this one. It's got Walter Matthau, who plays the role of Albert Einstein, and Meg Ryan, who plays the niece of Albert Einstein. And it's a romantic movie, not a science movie about discovery. Uh, it's kind of got Albert Einstein not as a main character, but more as the uncle who's trying to experiment and be like, oh, I bet I can get these two to hook up. I'm going to be uh, the love guru here, or whatnot. Or the matchmaker. That'd be a better way. That's a more con... Love Guru was a movie that's gotten a lot of terrible reviews that I've never watched. Matchmaker is the word I was looking for. IQ is a decent movie. It's... Of course wasn't that interested. I wasn't, I didn't like Meg Ryan's hair in this one, but there you go. IQ. Enough. Tim Robbins. What do we think of the guy? Well, he's, uh, he's tall, but, yeah, he's okay-ish. And it looks like we're running out of time, so we're gonna wrap it up here, and we'll see you next time.